for these things. Let's get into it. Obviously, transfer news. Bruv, Zinchenko, don't act. Zinchenko, don't act up. Zinchenko, please don't act up. Let's get into this. Zinchenko, don't act. We might not be able to offer you trophies, but you get it. People at this football, fans praise players for working hard. Please, man, chat to Gabriel Jesus. There's things going on. Left-sided, centre mid. That probably means Telemann's probably a myth. Left-back settings. I ain't going to lie. If I'm Zinchenko, I'm saying, fuck that. I ain't playing left-back for Arsenal. Like, if I'm leaving, I'm going to play centre mid somewhere. But don't sign him. We got Ainsley. Crazy. But yeah, on a serious note, Arsenal, oh, Chelsea decide against Ronaldo move. Okay. Uh, Arsenal are working on a deal to sign Zinchenko from Manchester City. The Athletic understands. I, I, listen, the Monday said we're working to get Rafinha. And how did that end, didn't it? Having already recruited Gabriel Jesus from the Premier League champions this summer, the North London side are now also aiming to bring his former teammate to the Emirates Stadium. Pep, you owe us. You owe us. You owe us. Because you let Spurs get a decent amount of points off you last season. You didn't even help your, 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 your younger brother in Arteta out. So you owe us something. You owe us something. Big time, fellow. Big, big time, fellow. Please. The club are in contact over a potential transfer and it is believed that City are open to sanctioning the 25-year-old sale if the valuation is met. What's the valuation? What is the valuation? So, again, keep it calm. Not agree the term. Not agree terms. Don't actually know if Zinchenko is on moving or not. Again, as you can see here, they do want Cucurella in that, so that might impact it. City obviously have a plan because they're letting... A decent amount of squad players leave. You know, Ake's chipped in on time. Sterling, Jesus, Zinchenko, they might not be the shirt sellers and the guys, but they've all played their part in, in a season for, for City. So, you know, Pep, there's got to be something bookie going on there. But yeah, man, the clubs are in contact over a potential transfer, as I said. So obviously we had to have spoke about this when Jesus deal was happening. So, yeah, the valuation is not met. That has not happened so far, but talks continue with Arsenal thought to be prioritising Zinchenko after missing out on Ajax's Lissandro Martinez. If an agreement can be reached with City on a fee and the Ukrainian international over personal terms, Arsenal would be acquiring a player with whom manager Mikel Arteta has been keen to reignite with. As we know, they worked together um, at City. If you don't remember, Arsene Wenger wanted you at 17 years of age, mate. Arsene Wenger... Please call him, do the booky stuff, get his number from somewhere, chat to him about doing this. Odd of me. Although he tends to operate in midfield for his countries, Inchenko has mainly been used by, pardon me, by Guardiola at left back. While that is an area, fertility is certain to appeal. So, yeah, man, obviously he's won a bag of titles around them sides as well. So it it, it, it makes sense in it really and truly. It, it makes a lot of sense. To be fair, Wiseman once said, if it makes too much sense, Arsenal won't do it. But hopefully it's a thing, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. But yeah, getting into some of this transfer new stuff, people, and scrolling around and stuff. We've got a lot to go through. Tab police, allow me. Um, allegedly, you know, Austin Tusty is set to join Birmingham City on a season-long loan. Um, apparently, his missus from America is now following Birmingham on Instagram. So, they're making progress there. Hopefully, he has a good loan spell and puts himself into the Banduli shop window. Uh, no clue what the hell this is, but all right, Sterling. Uh, allegedly, Hossam Alwa is stalling over his future as he waits for Premier League interest. Didn't we hear Arteta wanted him and, and Edu wanted party at a release clause? As reported by Lekeep, Leon wants to sell midfielder Hossam Alwa this summer, but the player is stalling over a decision on his future, despite interest from Spain as he waits for a Premier League interest to arrive. You know, as you know, the 24-year-old Frenchman has just a year left on his contract. His form and influence has declined over the last two seasons. The French club wants to cut their losses. You know, if you remember in 2020, they wanted 60 million euros and are now open to letting him leave for 15 million euros, which presents about a 75% a, a decrease in the club's valuation. He's been linked with Nice, Betis, who's not there, and Sociedad um, as well. Well, in fact, he has, really. Apparently, he's hesitating as he awaits for English interest to develop, despite having turned down a major move to Arsenal two summers ago. So, boy, it is what it is, you dickhead. You well look. I don't like to use talk shite, but allegedly, well, that's 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 that. Levi Crowell, that's Martial. Uh, that's that. 
Apparently, Leno is looking for a way out. Leno has pleaded with Arsenal not to price him out of a move away from the Emirates. First thing, Leno, it's nothing personal, it's just business. Nothing to do with you. You know, you've worked hard. You've done what you needed to do. Arsenal's not going to keep you against your valuation. That way, we're a business. If we try to buy players from Fulham, they're not cutting us any discount. And I'm sorry, but for all of Arsenal's nonsense in the transfer window, when I look at their pursuit of Rafinha, when I look at them trying for Lissandro Martinez, when I look at them not, letting the Italian clubs in Roma, Fiorentina, Bandulu was for Xhaka and Torreira. Bro, I'm not being funny. 11 million for a newly promoted club. They're, and they're taking a piss. What is the actual fee they're, they're, they're trying to play, pay? They're taking a piss. They had 13 million for Andres Pereira. They just got promoted. They just got money from Liverpool for Fabio Carvalho. Maybe they're just doing this because they know Edu and couple man might not be good negotiators. So you should be pleading as much as you want. Plead to Fulham to put the peas down, blood. Do the Fernandinho thing. I swear Fernandinho paid some of his transfer win, transfer transfer fee to go to City. Like, man. He's held talks. Apparently, personal terms are to be agreed. Not being funny, Leno. Fuck what you want and fuck what Fulham want. You know, I don't care about your German. I, I, listen, from, from, from the nice part of me, the Arsene Wenger inside me, Paul, I want you to go and play football and do what you want because you deserve that. But I don't care about your World Cup ambitions. I don't care about you not playing. Put the money down. And if I'm honest with you, I'd rather you sit on the bench, run down your contract, then Matt Turner or something. So tell them to put the money down there, boy, in it. You know, Lenos can't believe Arsenal should slash their valuation as a mark of respect to his four-year service. Fuck all of that. What are you talking about? Forget all of that, man. Pardon my French. What's all that? There's no mark of respect. They need to respect you. Come on now. And now let's get into, unfortunately, this Lissandro business. Lissandro Martinez, Arsenal forced into transfer rethink as Ajax star agrees £45 million Manchester United move. Arsenal are exploring other left-back targets as Ajax defender Lissandro Martinez closes in on a move to Manchester United. Ajax and United are in advanced talks for Martinez. There is optimism a deal can be concluded. Arsenal had been trying to sign the left-back too. Would you define him as a left-back or a centre-back? But their interest has cooled recently with the Ajax, with Ajax digging their heels in over £45 million asking price. The Gunners are now looking at other left-back targets, which will impact the future of Nuno Tavares, who's gone over to America. He has had offers to take him on loan. Um, as you know, Martinez has agreed to join Manchester United. He wants to play in the Premier League and is eager to reunite with Eric Ten Hag. He can play at left-back. He's played there 12 times, people. Um, so we'll have to see. And as you know, the futures of Ainsley, Maitland, Niles, Leno, Bellerin and Marie, while they're all in America, are all heavily impacted by what we do or not do. Again, I don't know what this is. You know, this is just saying why Ten Hag wants to sign him. This don't really have relevance. This is one for the United fans. You know, he's clearly good on the ball and all of those sort of things. So, yeah. If you lot remember, yeah, back in back in 2020, Mavinkio, I can't say his name, but we've been linked with him again. Do you remember his agent said we made we we had offers and we, you know if we contacted him two years ago in January of 2020 and the rumors have resurfaced, so we have to have done our due diligence and scouted this individual before. You know we was looking at him. Mikel Arteta is keen for him, so that has to be one that's on the scouting list. He is quite a decent player. Ironically, he has played in the Champions League with Jesus against Jesus. You, you lot could be teammates. I don't think you lot will be in that competition anytime soon. But yeah, his agent said recent, this was around them times. Recently, my colleagues and I have been constantly in contact with reps for, of Arsenal and had meetings. That's what his agent said. The Gunners hierarchy had already contacted Shakhtar and we hope that these negotiations will succeed. Pause. Why for that? Left, left footed centre back can play at left back. It makes sense. Um, once again, this was back then. Arsenal want the deal to be agreed this window. They want it to be done by February the 1st. I'm not the one to disclose such things. We'll know everything. Maybe he was talking up interest from other clubs. Maybe he was capping. Maybe it was legit. It's just something to bear in mind, folks. Um, again, Man United make breakthrough for, uh, for, for Lissandro Martinez. Apparently, somewhere among these people is apparently we're looking at this guy. Ajax... Five include million, in, including add-ons, but are willing to accept a new proposal following lengthy talks on Wednesday, and have already identified Lissandro's potential replacement in Madvinkio. Forgive me for mispronunciations. I tried, people. Uh, as you know, it, Lissandro made it clear that he wants to leave. Um, he's got a good relationship with, with you know, with Ten Hag, and he's doing what he's doing in it, people. He's not the tallest. Stands at five nine. Not in the you know little man and that, but it's calm. So, yeah, there's that. 
Once again, Arsenal have called their interest in, in Lissandro Martinez, who is closing in on a move to United, and we've identified another defensive target, people. So, yeah, it is, it is well, it is moving all the way down. Again, according to the Daily Mail, oh, same article. Again, according to the Daily Mail, this is who we're looking at. You know, he'll cost considerably less than, than, than Martinez, allegedly. He's capable at playing centre-back as well as left-back people. You know, so we'll have to see. Apparently, Klaas Lan Jan Huntelaar, who works for Ajax now, they want to sign him as well, and they've met his agent. So it seems like a merry-go-round. Apparently, Shakhtar are expected to demand 12.6 million for the 26-year-old, which isn't that much, really. I mean, if you get him, Zinchenko, I'm here for that. Left-back couldn't be an issue anymore. You know, in fact, you can play left-back, Zinchenko and Telemans, decent options in midfield. I can't see... Dream World would be Telemans, Zinchenko, my man, and Paqueta in it, just bare left-footed duns. But we're dream chasing. Obviously, the Glimando rumours are have been kind of quashed, really, by Rui Costa. So moving away from that, once again, United are closing in on Lissandro Martinez. 50 million euros plus add-ons. They had a meeting in Ajax. His choice is Man United. And probably since Fabrizio's tweeted this, there's been progress made. Van der Sar, obviously, is going to help his United brethren out. Van der Sar gave the transfer a move in the right direction, people. The deal's expected to be completed today. Within Ajax, there's a belief that only English clubs will make an offer that Manchester United is making for Lissandro Martinez. There's no guarantee that they'll get the same offer again next year for a centre-back with the height of 1.75 metres. So make of that what you will. Lissandro Martinez was demanding Ajax to listen to Manchester United after he personally turned down Arsenal himself. Maybe a bit of that is propaganda to talk him up. We heard Arsenal moved away and stepped away from it, but he probably did reject us. And as I said, if I was him, I would listen to Arteta, but I would pick Man United. I know I'm going to play centre-back. Their defence at this moment in time needs more of a rebuild than Arsenal's. We finished fifth with clean sheets. The only one in the top six that we did better than was them. You're going to play more games. You know how Ten Hag operates. You, you know, it makes sense. All I care about is that Arsenal have contingency plans, people. This transfer is full of winners with an expected fee of 55 million. Ajax will sell the Argentinian, Argentinian defender for eight times the amount they brought him for, seven million. Money they can now use to find a quality replacement. So does that mean Timber and Anthony are not leaving? I don't know. Moving away from that and getting back into Lucas Paqueta. Apparently his agent has stepped in with well-timed transfer ploy to advance Arsenal deal with Lyon. The agent of Lucas Paqueta have, has reportedly intervened in his in in Arsenal transfer talks by asking Leon to return a favor he did the French club when signing. As you know, we're tracing this individual. Allegedly, he's become Arsenal's focus. We hear 55 million will do it. We do hear about 70 to 60 to 80 million euros, and according to some reports, people apparently Ben Jacob, um, who's been airing my DMs for a hot second when I've been trying to get a transfer street with you. Look, you look, go and troll him and get him to come on the, the show. Um, it is what well, it is. The game's the game said 55 million quid would do it, people. Um, but apparently, even that sum has put Arsenal off with the Gunners feeling Leon have stipulated an exaggerated fee. This is something that would drag. Leon, in contrast, feels selling Paqueta for three times what they paid for him is about right. His recent progress and the fact that he has three years left on his contract um, is their form of their reasoning. Leon are dragging their heels. I mean, they're going to sell out. I mean, our stock has fallen. So he's probably the only one they can get decent a decent buck for, and I, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Fakir didn't go for that much considering what he could have went for to Liverpool for. So yeah, it is well it is, and obviously they've got a couple of young players developing, but there's not really anyone that's going to have a pay packet there. So it is well it is. Apparently, Paqueta's reps have subsequently stepped in to try and further loosen Leon's resistance. People, they have reminded the French club that their client took a pay cut to leave Milan in September 2020. Their camp now want Leon to return the favour by accepting a lower fee for their star man. Despite the current friction over Paqueta's future, both sides are handling the situation calmly amid the lack of competition for the midfielder. And we heard Arsenal are talking with his agents to see a feasibility for what a contract will look like and these sort of finer intricacies and dotting I's and crossing T's before we actually go and place a bid down. So it is well, it is, people. He's got three years left on his deal. Leon, on top of that, are difficult to do business with. So it's one that's probably going to drag on, and it's one that Leon are in a position of strength, but hopefully we move closer. Allegedly, Arsenal are confident of agreeing personal terms with Paqueta, says Ben Jacobs, people. And apparently they want 55 million. As you can see here, Leon will seriously consider offers for Lucas Paqueta for 55 million in brackets, 65 million. Or last will not hold out for near 70 million price tag he quoted in Jan. Leon accept Paqueta wants to leave this window and won't stand in his way if they receive a satisfactory offer. 
Arsenal, Newcastle and Roma amongst three clubs to have inquired. Arsenal feel confident they can persuade the Brazilian to join and want player buy-in first. Eddie believes the asking price is a little inflated and won't get sucked into a bidding war. So we'll have to see, people, how that one there develops. Make sure we're smashing the like button and subscribing, people. I will be getting back into your comments. Arsenal transfer move for Lucas Paqueta. Very possible with Mikel Arteta and Edu Keen on 55 million Leon Man. So, again, we're hearing there's fa they're fans of him, personal terms, all these sort of things. Until someone signs, it is what it is, really and truly. So we'll have to see. Bring Telemans, who we heard sold his house in Leicester or wherever and wherever in the Midlands. That just reiterates the same thing. Should we spin, spin the block for Ben Jacobs? It's just Chelsea and stuff, isn't it? At this point, Arsenal and Newcastle are both exploring a number of creative options. Paqueta is one of them, but neither club has placed a bid yet. Paqueta is very open to Premier League move and wants a new challenge. I think Newcastle have every chance of signing him, really. Uh, so moving away from that, what's this about? Bad news if you were hoping for Gnabry to Arsenal. Apparently, a contract extension at Bayern Munich is getting closer. His future is still unclear in the meantime. However, there are positive signals in terms of Serge Gnabry's contract extension. Both the player and the club are optimistic. This is the current status, people. As you know, Muller and Nuro have agreed to um, sign new deals. Lewandowski seems to be leaving. So, yeah, it is what it is, people. Despite Chelsea's interest, Gnabry prefers to stay at Bayern Munich, people. And it seems like in the meantime, if he if he neither extends nor changes his mind, he's ever been promised a place in the stands. So, yeah, that was capped. In principle, the 26-year-old is satisfied with the offer from Munich. It's about details, about future planning with the offensive all-rounder. Here, too, those involved are getting closer. Accordingly, both parties, players and the club, are, con are currently confident of agreeing on a contract extension beyond 2023 in the foreseeable future for four or five more years. So, yeah, cold water and the Ganabri stuff. We have already been linked with Zinchenko and he could be an alternative to the failed pursuit of Lissandro Martinez, people. You know, he's played 117 times at, at, at left-back in the Premier League uh, in comparison to 12 times from Lissandro Martinez. So let's hope that. Terrera and his agent can never shut up and apparently he's agreed terms with Valencia, but no bid's been agreed. Hopefully Valencia will give, you, give us the money we were seeking. Terrera has agreed to join Valencia, but the Arsenal midfielder looks set to stay at, stay with the Gunners for now. He's keen to move away. Apparently, he's been told in no uncertain terms that he's out of out of the picture. Nonetheless, he's travelled with Arsenal to America, people. And apparently, he's revealed that Terrera has reached an agreement with, with uh, Gattuso and Valencia to join the La Liga side. We have a pre-agreement with Gattuso for Terrera to play in Valencia. Today, there is an important meeting on this issue. Arsenal coach Arteta wants to have him in pre-season. He had great numbers with Arsenal, but we have an, a pre-agreement with Valencia. One minute, Saliba has signed a new deal and his agent is at Arsenal. Now, you've got to be very wary of things that come out of get, fr get French football news. Saliba currently has no intention to extend the Arsenal contract. And if I was him, I agree with that. Arsenal, have, Arteta has said a lot. Don't sign a new deal until you see yourself play and, and how it goes down in pre-season. So, yeah, apparently he has not extended his contract at the club and has not currently has no in, intention of doing so. Marseille continue to keep an eye on him, people. We'll have to see what's going on there, really. So, yeah, he's currently on the plane. Well, they're off the plane now. They're in Baltimore. Long story short, the, Ganab the Gabriel, sorry to Juventus ones, won't go away this time. They're saying they'll give us Rabio and Arthur Mello. They're boying it, you know, just, just to see the name Rabio is a myth. I, I'd, I'd be open to Arthur Mello. On a loan and that, Rabiot's going to, you know, Arteta's going to beat him up in the first training. And Arteta's probably going to ban his mum from coming to the training ground, you know. I, I think everyone should stay clear of Rabiot. Guy's got ability. There's just too much uh, nonsense, really. They've yeah, So they've offered us Rabiot, Arthur Mello on loan and all these sort of things. Uh, this has a lot to do with it. To be fair, they wanted him before the Lit. The Lit's future was subject to speculation. But, yeah, this has a lot to do with, with his future, people. So there's that. Jose Mourinho's Roma to battle Manchester United and Arsenal for the ball or transfers Argentine lowers wage demands. I think both teams are just being listed here for no reason. We was linked with with Chiromeca. Apparently, he's been left with his contract running out. He's been left of Aston out of Aston Villa's preseason tour. Um, so we'll have to see how that one develops, really and truly. Uh, moving away from that, apparently Arsenal are looking at Gavidal, who we spoke about. Extreme, a lot of potential. Left-footed in that, but extremely error-prone at this moment in time, really. Apparently, he's someone we're looking at. The young 20, 21-year-old is going to cost a very pretty penny, I think, more than more than, more than than Ben White, really, if I'm completely honest with you. 
and apparently, you know, he finds himself on the radar of English clubs. Arsenal's position without having sent an offer to Leipzig. This foul is certainly a preparation for the potential departure of Saliba. I don't know about any of that. You know, he's also been linked with City and he's also been linked with Chelsea as well, who clearly are looking at defenders. Arsenal are now monitoring Gavidao amid Saliba speculation. He is left-footed, so it makes sense. Really, what's talking Highbury saying? I'm not here to promote sites, but I think they do they, they do a good job with all of this. Arsenal are working on a deal to sign Zinchenko. Arsenal, Juventus have approached Arsenal about the signing of Gabriel. Um, and a deal could be possible if the Italian club can match the 40 million price tag. Do you lot really do you lot really believe that? Austin Tusty looks set to go out on loan. Leno's pleaded with Arsenal to let him go. We're keeping tabs on Levi Cole. Will we we've heard that for a hot minute? Telemans wants to leave Leicester. The player's priority has always been Arsenal. I mean, it's like a girl that wants to chat to a guy and she'll give him all the time in the world. But at some point, she's going to say, I'm wasting my time. I'm going to move on. Apparently, we never made a bid for Gilmando. Arsenal sources were miffed at suggestions of that. Arsenal still discussing between Telemans and Paqueta. Paqueta offers more versatility. A defensive reinforcement is still expected. So, again, this... again. That makes me believe we're going to explore the pursuit of Paqueta. And if that doesn't happen, then Fellerman seems like it could be wrapped up. Arsenal were close to Lissandro, but there was never a total agreement with Ajax. Arteta and Edu are now considering other centre-back. Manchester United were able to move ahead thanks to the Eric Ten Hard factor and also a large salary offer to the player. I mean, a club doing all they can to bring in a player. There's nothing wrong with that. Leon knows Pequeta wants to leave. Club stance had softened since Jan. They want to facilitate it rather than keep him and cause issues. Brazilian sources have told us that Pequeta is very sold on Arsenal move. You could be sold as much as you want. You need to keep it moving, people. Torreira is highly rated at Valencia. However, asking price is too high. Arsenal will have to reduce it. We'll have to see who's this. Are these people say So, I mean, you know, it, based on that, there might be something legit. Arsenal have a, Juventus, so have approached Arsenal about signing Gabriel. Man, I don't know, man. If Gabriel leaves, he leaves. Maybe that's why we want a centre back. Crystal Palace are the front runners for Levi Colwell, and that will be a good banker on them in the future. Arsenal also understood to be huge admirers of Colwell, but will not immediately offer the left sided centre back a prominent role, which makes sense. Really, and for him, Southampton, you've been linked Palace. These are good clubs for you. So, yeah, we'll have to see how these ones develop. Once again, Arsenal have turned their attentions to the Ukrainian international um, over them sides. Uh, again, Crystal, pa Crystal Palace lead the race as Chelsea consider sale amid Arsenal interest. Chelsea are about to bring in three centre-backs. So, yeah, man. Men on Twitter said Zinchenko is a crybaby. Away from, obviously, what's affecting his country, he does seem a bit like Torreira, one of these... Emotional brothers, if I'm honest with you. So, yeah. Despite Chelsea approach this week, Gnabry is still giving priority to Bayern Munich new contract. The Sancho Martinez is not training with Ajax today. It's a matter of time when he'll complete that move there. Nothing to do with Arsenal. Again, don't forget, people, 4 p.m. I think it's 4 p.m. We're going to be still, we'll still be talking Arsenal, but that will be focused on Twitch. You know, we'll still be talking Arsenal, but we'll be focusing more on transfers that are happening in the world of football. Once again, Serge Gnabry and Bayern Munich are confident of a contract extension by 2023, people. So it is what it is. I can't lie, you know, if Arsenal do want to defend, uh, can we go? I know he's not left-sided, but the Brazilian soon-to-be Italian Bremer would be a good option, if I'm completely honest with you. So there is that to consider. But yeah, where the transfers are concerned, 